the humans have been extinct for Murthians. You must let go. But I love these funny broadcast mails. I would like to support them, XO1. They are dead. Maybe I could become a patron of their online broadcast and get some recompense for my currency. B705, the internet web is outdated. We use the cube now. XO1, I must find a way. I want to give them my 58 floor bows which equate to an amount of 25 Earth currency to name a non-playable character in their Dungeons & Dragons broadcast. That broadcast has been discontinued for ins B705. I could also ask them a question for their Patreon Q&A if I give them 5 or more Earth currency. That broadcast has been discontinued for ins B705. Perhaps I can still access their domain through the cube, www.patreon.com slash sirmeowmusic. B705? Yes, X01? What would you ask the humans if you could? I would ask them about love, X01. I see. So why is Pooh sealed inside the book for China in Kingdom Hearts? We is haven't it, done the intro yet. No, Whatever. no, no. He's no that's, the that's, that's the fucking <laughs> intro. No, no, no. They made <laughs> the intro. Like, why did they seal Pooh in the book? No, Winnie, they did, Winnie the Pooh. That, that has nothing to do with that, China. They made him like a big glowy. They made like, him a, a white. Yeah, they made yeah, him white. They made him white. <laughs> they made poo white. Like they, <laughs> they, they can't believe they're whitewashing Winnie the actually, Pooh. Have you actually not seen this? They turned him into a Wait. beam of light. No, I've never played Kingdom Hearts. What? Oh, wait. When you said they made Winnie the Pooh white, I thought you wait, meant like let me, they, let me, no. they changed his fur. <laughs> wait, no, wait, wait. I, I, I'm gonna, no, no, I'm Kingdom gonna send Hearts it. It's fucking amazing. China. Look at oh, it. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what, what he looks yeah, like in the game. That's what he looks like in the game in China. Oh, <laughs> okay. He's just he's like, like a, if he's if he's there, is he actually trapped in the book? What's the point of trapping him in the book if you're turning in into well, okay, pure yeah. light so, energy, anyways? Well, he's he's like, so Sora finds a magical book. Why'd I ask? In the town of Hollow Bastion, in Kingdom Hearts uh, one, wait no two, I can't remember. Who cares? And basically, Pooh is stuck in the book, and he goes into the book. And they have moments. <laughs> David, I thought you liked this game. I don't like the P Winnie the Pooh because Winnie the Pooh is there's no <laughs> fighting in it, and there's like zero <laughs> gameplay. You basically go to the you go to Winnie the Pooh's world. Wait, you go to <laughs> Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh's Pooh. Pooh segment. This game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Go in and I want Nikki to come like, home and I'll off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here in. for. It's because you go in and then Winnie the Pooh's like all he's bummed about some shit and then the rabbit is like He's probably ah, bummed you about being turned into an object of pure light and being trapped in a book for all eternity. I'm just well he does, I don't think he knows combat. This I don't is think a game for children and Winnie the Pooh oh, is also, the baby franchise. Oh, oh right. Also like so for some reason like <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you know Christopher Robin in like Winnie oh, the no. Pooh. Is this yeah, a guy stuck in an island? So, no, Sora what? is. No, no, no. You know Sora oh, is Christopher Robin in the. No, game. yes, he's not. Yeah, he takes no, the role. Not. It's like Wait. Detective he, Pikachu. He takes the role of. That movie fucking sucked. <laughs> he I didn't see it. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Detective Pikachu is like someone watched hey, watched um uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. They said, "Hey, let's make that, but shitty." <laughs> I've actually. Are you Spoilers the only for Detective one? Pikachu. There's someone with sunglasses and they take it off and they have ditto eyes. And she's like, wow, that's so clever. Yeah. I'm like, no, and it's the, fucking, fucking not. They did that in. And I mean, <laughs> that, that's, that's extra bad because who framed Roger Rabbit is somebody watching Looney Tunes back in action and going, let's make that, but shitty. I don't think that's true. Sh that, shut the fuck up. <laughs> who the fuck? Who the f Looney Tunes back in. Did, wasn't that with fucking uh, Brendan Fraser? Brendan yeah, Frazier. that's the joke. It's Holy much later. That's, that's that's a joke. No, I, I know. I, I was just like thinking about and Brendan Fraser. It's Frazier. not Brendan Fraser. It's Brendan Fraser playing Brendan Fraser's stuntman. And there's a yeah. scene at the end where Wait, he punches Brendan Fraser and calls him a dickhead. And then it turned out later that Brendan Fraser took the role because he was very self hating at the time yes. for a bunch of. Horrible reasons I won't talk about. He's like, yeah. He's like, actually, I took that movie because I was trying to hurt myself. Like, wow, that adds a lot of darkness yeah. to. Looney it's actually Tunes why his action. wife divorced him. For real? <laughs> no, I don't that's think not that's real. true at all. <laughs> no, no, his wife divorced him so he could go on Looney Tunes back in action. No, the Looney Tunes back in action was pre-divorce. You can tell because he doesn't look like 
Oh, he, he looks did. human. Don't. He looks better now. He does. He does look he better. better before him. He's an. He's fucking such a good actor. So yeah. Fortunate, yeah, dude. He's great. Before Welcome wife, the after wife, marriage bad. I don't like you much, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen that image? Where it's Everybody uh, Captain America. No, 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 no. It's Captain America. It's like uh, 20 years, no wife. And then it's like young Chris Evans. 20 years <laughs> with wife. And it's old Chris Evans at the end of Endgame. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Wait, hang on. Can you hear those kids? That thumping? That singing? It's not coming through Discord. <clears throat> hang on. Don't. Yeah, hang I'm on. Not. Wait, boost it. No. <laughs> oh, God. oh, my God. I don't like it. Yeah, I can hear that. What the fuck I'm is that? It. Yeah, I can hear it too. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Are is you that yelling? children? Is that children? He's, he's yelling at his downstairs neighbor. Listen to this shit. Oh, man, I, just, I can hear it pretty clearly. Yeah, yeah. man, these the same people who did the Dune music. The Dune music? Yeah, oh, we could probably talk about no, that. No, Brendan, no, please. You just keep talking. I mean, this, will, this will be happening for a little bit. I'm just no, to Ma turn Mandy, out. Mandy, Mandy, turn, turn your, your game fucking back game down. down. Is any of this making it in? I'm confused. Probably not. Yeah, I'm probably not turn this game way the fuck. Turn it down. In what universe does it help that you would turn the game up? What are you saying about uh, Winnie the Pooh? Noise? Oh my god. Well, I was wondering because so I, was, I was like, "Where future David will hear this?" And the answer was probably. I hope because they're like vibrating the walls a little bit. I don't want to talk about the Dune night. That was a bad night. <laughs> we can't talk about bad nights. We can't talk about anything that's happened <laughs> since I moved. We can't talk about good nights either. Okay, so the Dune night was um. <laughs> I was. Have you ever seen the movie um like Dune the the David Lynch one? I haven't he seen just, um, Dune. I don't even know what it's about. All I know is I okay. hate the new one. They're, oh my god! <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! So loud. Shut up! Look so how, there's a scene where, where this guy is uh, riding a giant worm and it starts playing this, um, this like, th this really triumphant, like, band music. Toto did the soundtrack for the entire movie, by the way. What? So it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, is it so good? Like, da, da, da. Yeah. Music's good. Huh. The thing is, on Dune Night, I was trying to do audio for a video and I heard the worm theme from Dune playing downstairs. <laughs> and the thing was... It was only this one song <laughs> and like the crescendo of it was playing 20 times louder than the rest of the song and it was on loop for five hours. What the fuck? I don't believe you. And then it Dude, stopped what? for two hours between I've, 11 a.m. This story has been corroborated by Dimitri. And between 11 a.m. and 1 a.m. it stopped and then it happened again <laughs> and kept going until 5.30 a.m. when I said, fuck it, I can't work tonight and I just went to bed. What? Like, it would just Why be really quiet. Why the fuck were they listening and then for to three the seconds. Doom? I don't know. And for 30 seconds, you just hear. What do they look like? Do you know what your neighbors look like? Yeah, I do. Because Are they gamers? Yeah. No. It's like Are a they very. Dooners? It's Are like they a very dooners? normal nuclear. Actually, no, I take that back. One is a gamer. Oh, no. Dooner, not gamer. Dooner. <laughs> <laughs> no, because on, um, I was with my girlfriend going downstairs like two weeks ago. And I passed by him and he had like a uh, an NES shirt on. And he had like a, a Zelda. He had an Fuck NES yeah, shirt on, dude. and he had like a Zelda chain. But he was like uh, thirty-five. The thing is, this is the Black only Nintendo. I oh, guess so. But like, this is the only time this has ever happened. There has never been a Dune Night sensor before, and usually it's like now. Oh my god! What? They're you're, chanting. You're... They're chanting. Wow. No, they're not. They're not chanting. Yes, they are. Chanting. You got a little bit of drama going on downstairs. Oh my god, there he goes. He's bumping them again again. Oh wait, I... Yeah. They are chanting. They're they casting chanting. a fucking spell on me! I think they're eating someone. They knew you would talk about Dude Night. <laughs> First rule of Dude Night. <laughs> Don't fucking talk about Dude Night. <laughs> Fuck off! Are they playing Sing Star? Are they playing Sing Star? Jesus! What the fuck? Every time Mandy opens his mouth, there's banging and chanting. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of his vibe. That is, a vibe. that is such a vibe, dude. Oh my god! It's 
I should like, it's like talk um, to my friends and hear. Oh, that would be a good new downstairs. one, Mandy. That would be such a good new one for when people ask me what it's like to hang out with you in person. You hear chanting every time you speak. I hear banging and children chanting. <laughs> I also, I'm but only when you speak. I've, I've never heard the chanting like until today. Minutes. Are we keeping any of yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, some of it, probably. We're keeping some of it. I don't think we're gonna keep. Oh, uh, okay. All the, of the chanting. Because we, all, we all haven't even introed yet. I'm confused. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think we're doing that this episode. I think we're. Don't just wait, he'll, in... he'll just cut out me yelling "fuck off" at the children. It's getting louder. What the fuck? They they just started again, but they're drumming now. The drumming's getting louder. I feel it in my ankles. It's a fucking rain <laughs> dance. <laughs> it actually has been raining pretty hard the past few days. We had like a flood. It really morning. has. It's Maybe. Been nice. I, I hear oh, the, I, I, hear I can. The, I hear whoa, the banging even it without your game so being loud. blasted. Yeah, That's it is really so loud. loud now. Jesus! Holy shit! What is wrong with them, Mandy? Have they made it inside yet? <laughs> it's multiple children chanting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, we should we should stop and. <laughs> Let's stop and save this and Let's wait go ahead and save this next point and we wait for that, yeah. And so our heroes waited for the chanting and drumming to end. Watch Mandy get a noise complaint because of the clap sinks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. It's I mean, okay, you have, I have so you much have, recording. You have just proof. Like, you have actual yeah, fucking evidence, though, now. Our weird quartz neighbor keeps clapping. You know how easy it would be for me to like take cell phone footage and like bass boost the volume and put it over it and send it to the office, make it thirty times louder than it actually is. <laughs> Add Dune music to the background. <laughs> I think he's unloading a gun into his fridge. <laughs> I mean, Dune is a very strange movie for someone to want to loop the theme of over and over again. I have the theme, just the worm music. Well, yeah, I was about to say, it's just the worm theme, isn't it? It's, it's the worm theme, like 30 seconds of it specifically. Maybe maybe this podcast will go smoother if we just stop trying to intro it. I like that. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm done with it. Welcome also, to the we're podcast. Done? No, we're not done. I'm done with trying to intro it. Oh, we don't have the to. Intro. I we thought, yeah, yeah, this is a fucking quick hour. Just start. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, the ending of the song was way louder. And so was, we realized it's either, oh, he has, like... An edited mix of the song he made himself, or he was manually turning up that part he liked for five hours straight and then turning it back down. This is not going in. <laughs> what? Why? What, what do you mean? <laughs> There's no context. He's what do you? He's giving the context. Yeah, what do you why? mean? There's I put, no I put, context. I put the what? context on drive. Guys, David, you, what you do you gotta think? Give me twenty minutes. A new <laughs> just came out. Give me a second. Shut, Shut the fuck up. up. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Oh, welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Ed Tells a Story. I feel like this episode should there start. All right. This episode's first topic is why does this episode's first topic is <laughs> what are your thoughts? Oh, what? that's not going in. <laughs> Wait. Right? No, no. you're thinking of yeah. Oh, it's yeah. none of all. All of this is being cut. <laughs> yeah. No, I, of this course. isn't even just. I don't even know why we're discussing it. I'm just making a joke. Yeah. No, that's. I oh, feel the it? same way, Ed. Oh, it's because I, I just don't know anything about it. So I was just curious. So move on. <laughs> oh my god! Can't even make jokes anymore. What happened to comedy? <laughs> I was the one that mean? made the joke. Ed was the one that made the joke, and you're the one went. Uh, wait, no, isn't it that? <laughs> Ed, tell your fucking this. story. Ed, tell your fucking story. Please. What do you mean? I did. I hope the no, podcast just starts with the story with no context. Oh, <laughs> it's you just mean the you story. mean the, the one, puzzle? Oh, right, you don't mean the you don't mean what I was just talking about. Okay, gotcha. What? No, How is that your? That's not even <laughs> a story. No, but I'm just confused now. Like, cause we're just gonna cut that entire first chunk. We're so just... tell your story, so we can get to the part that won't be cut. Ed. So the podcast literally just starts with me going. So ten years ago, yeah, like, that everyone will, everyone will know something was cut off, which will be really funny. <laughs> yeah, it'll just start <laughs> bleeping. It'll just start bleeping a fuckload for a few seconds, and then it'll be like, well. So ten years ago. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Have bleeping, Just... have chanting, Ed tells a story. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no more chanting, I think, right? No, there has not been any chanting since we started. I can text my mom right. if you want. What, to stop the chanting? Yeah. Shut up! You know, Tell like, a Belgian, like poison? Tell your fucking puzzle box story! I think the sound would travel upwards, too, because she's, like, in the floor below oh, me, I'm and, shitting. like, the floor is made of wood. I hope she hears your puzzle box. So if she has, like, like bo- bangos, bongos? Which ones are the ones you bongos. hit? Bongos. Tell like your fucking story, Ed. <laughs> what the fuck? What are okay. bangos? Bongos are drums! I know that bongos are drums. He was asking. He was asking. He asked bangos bangos or or bongos. He's not saying bangos are a thing. He's asking bangos or bongos. And I said bongos. Why would you extend this? I don't know. Maybe he was like, oh, maybe bangos are a thing. Oh, my God. He wasn't. (laughs) Bingo, bingo, bongo. I'm so happy in the Congo. Oh, no, 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 no. And start fucking telling your story bangos. right now, or I swear to God, I will bango your fucking bongos. bongos, which also <laughs> happen to be drums. <laughs> tell your story. I'm, I'm losing my cry. shit. I'm not gonna tell it. I think it's what? funnier if I don't. It feels like I've been waking up from a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Are you quoting Joker? No, he's quoting Todd Phillips. We've been over this, yeah. and everyone knows uh, all about it. Didn't. T- didn't he make Hangover? That was funny. Tell your story. Oh my god. Not Jesus. funny enough because he can't tell jokes now. That's what Todd Phillips said. So he made the Joker. <laughs> he made art instead of making a haha. Shut the fuck up and tell your st- statement started when he made Hangover 3. I'm pretty sure Hangover 3 didn't have any jokes. Yeah, when he made a shitty movie with no jokes, he said, you can't make jokes in society. It's time to show you what it's really like. They showed a clown getting hit by a sign. Wasn't that <laughs> Project X? <laughs> The one with and the monkeys? And it was a stop sign. It was like me getting hit with a society sign telling me to stop saying jokes. Wait, Project X, like the, the drunk party movie or the, the chimpanzee flying airplane movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, Project X. It's, it's a movie about chimpanzees. Chim- What's that one? It's where Matthew Broderick trains chimpanzees to fly military jets. What the fuck yeah. are you talking about? What? That, that one's based on a true story. Matthew Broderick trains chimps? Yeah. To fly military Which aircraft. Matthew Broderick? Is that the rapist? Matthew Broad. No, no, he's one- what? no, no. no. What Matthew Broderick is the murderer who Ferris killed people Bueller. who killed a family in Ireland. He's Wait, Ferris what? Bueller. <laughs> is that the guy from Friends? Oh my god. He's the guy from Ferris Bueller who killed a family in Ireland. There's him in the monkey movie. Oh, he's Godzilla guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's a lot of fish. Oh, yeah. That's a, a lot, lot of fish. fish. Actually, it's Totopolis. Totopolis. So when he trained the chimpanzees to fly planes into Godzilla. He was in War Games? What? Yeah, he was, he was of course he was in War Games. <laughs> He's the main Matthew. character in War Games. I n- he was also Inspector Gadget. I never- oh, it's because he go, was gadget, young as shit. That's, dude, he was so young. I didn't even Can recognize we, him. He's the same he, he hasn't been in movies lately. He could be a rapist. He was an Inspector Gadget. <laughs> he was what Inspector is that, Gadget. What is that correlation? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been in movies lately. He's got a lot of free time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you wouldn't want to be making movies with a rapist. He's but not he, a rapist! It, but everyone does, Ed. Stop oh. saying! Imagine, oh. imagine being cornered by Matthew Broderick. <laughs> like you're in an alley, yeah, you I'd see him holding not. hands with a chimpanzee. Like that. <laughs> whips it out and says it's a lot of fish. <laughs> wait oh wait there was actually another movie called project x yeah, he pulls up yes the yeah. chimpanzee oh, movie i didn't know I, th- I was thinking of the the party movie with the three high school kids no that's a remake of it Man, he up. did the movie Man, why did you jeff post the cameraman in uncharted 2 what? jeff the killer in uncharted 2 i want you to tell your story Who before you i f- mech frick you me Okay, so 10 years ago, uh, Go I had fuck this friend yourself. in high school <laughs> called... Do I say his name? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. You can say Rexy's name. No, Full name, no, no, middle no, no, name, no. last oh, name. We can just Rexy pre- in high address. school. Jesus Christ. We can yeah. just pretend it... Just change his name with Rexy. Wait, hang on. I'm looking in guests now. What's Project X? Wait. That's the movie with Matthew Broderick and the Chimpanzees. There's two movies called Project X and one yes, of them. Oh my god. That's yeah. what we've been talking about. Oh, is it good? 
It's okay. <laughs> it's one of those movies where you can tell it's a female chimpanzee because the male I'm ones gonna, will rip your head off. I'm going to mech freaking lose it, bro. Because I, I, I couldn't even tell that was a chimp. I thought that was Yoda. <laughs> what if Yoda? <laughs> it does kinda, actually, it does kind of look like Yoda. Project Very Yoda. Uh, that's Project Y. <laughs> Why did Project Y? Oh, that's... Uh, he was in the Avery's voice of world, Simba. Start with an X. You know, I actually saw a Star Wars theory video the other, the other day called uh, What If Yoda Was Tall? And it was just this this image for like 10 minutes with loud Imperial March playing. <laughs> 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 oh, None of this is going in! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dooku would stand no chance! <laughs> Um, None but yeah, of this can I had go this in friend, oh I had this God. friend named Jack, um, and he was basically like the new kid that year. I need to close all these Project X tabs. I can't talk while this chimp is next to Matthew Broderick. Um, <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you mean all of these Project X tabs? <laughs> oh, because I opened like both of them, but multiple times. <laughs> This is the most feverish. Um, this podcast so I had this, has been. I had this friend named Jack. Is he gonna he be the, unlistenable? Uh, he yeah. was like the new kid that year. Can I tell my story, please? He was the new Fuck kid you. that year, and <laughs> I'm not taking that bait. Um, and we were gonna try to do some funny hazing. Mind you, this was high school, so I was around. I think I was around like 15. So the way that we handled his like. I mean, because it wasn't even really hazing. We just wanted to fuck with him. Because, like, usually you make the fat kid e eat spiders, Isn't right? Isn't that called bullying? No, because you also thought it was funny. Like, we weren't forcing him to do anything. We were just, like, egging him on to do it. So all of our hazing methods, I'm going to keep calling it hazing, but they all boil down to basically making him shit in increasingly weird places. <laughs> was... Your friend Jack, the school That's poop a new bandit. Yeah, it's poop bandit. So, to name a few, but not all examples, because I'd be here for a while, because they weren't. Most How of them were shit. At, most of them were at school, but a lot of them were just when we were just out and somebody had a good idea. So, to name a few examples, uh, construction site like recently poured concrete. Um, <laughs> what else? There was a lot what? of just like vanilla ones, like oh, just on the sidewalk. I don't, I don't understand. So you, you, how does this even fucking happen? You're just like, yo, wouldn't it be funny if you shat? Well, it's because the, the yeah. Ed, can you explain yeah. the mentality of a poop bandit? Because I've always wondered. Oh, it, it's just funny. But what's their psychology? Hmm. Just, <laughs> I don't. Okay. Just whenever Jack had to take a shit, we just go. All right, everybody, squat up and brainstorm. <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe and he, yeah, and like dude, the zones huh. where we all pretty much lived, the walk back from the bus, the bus stop was really far away. So we basically had entire streets to ourselves, if that makes sense. So like, it's not like there was designated a, shitting streets. No, not yeah. really designated <laughs> shitting streets. Wow. It's more that there was no <laughs> praying eyes. Cut that. Um, no. So. <laughs> So, yeah, construction site, most of them were on the sidewalk. A really, really funny one, but there's not really a story to it, was um, on the toilet seat. Um, <laughs> we made him shit on a urinal. Oh, what was that? Oh, the right. Person that has made him that. shit in a book. That was a good one. Um, in a book? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Did you close it afterwards? Yes. But you, the, you have to. Okay, yeah. But you get the idea. He, we made him poop in a lot of places. Um, what kind of fucking relationship do you have with your friends where it becomes just like... What kind of relationship like, do you have with shit? So many of your stories involve shit what being What is up with places. that, dude? It's always shit with you. I don't know. Always. I'm not a bigot. I'm <laughs> You're not a shit bigot? We, a lot of the times, we'd have to study in the library. And the library lets you... In, uh, this innovative thing called renting books, you can do that there. But you can also rent board games and puzzle boxes. Oh, no. And, you know, people rent the books because that's the main appeal of a library. A couple people rent the board games so they can play during recess or whatever that's called during high school. I don't know if that's still the word people use. But nobody 
rents the puzzle boxes. Mm -hmm. So me, Jack, and another guy, we were all hanging out in the library studying. And that's when we get the brilliant idea of renting a puzzle box and all squatting up in the bathroom while Jack takes a shit in it. When you say all squatting, that makes it seem like everybody shat. No, as in we'd go to the, we went to the boys' bathroom. He got in a stall, and then me and the other guy were just like, I don't know, pretending to piss in the urinals, just keeping a lookout. So he shat. (laughs) (laughs) So he shat in a puzzle box, and then our plan was to just, you know, close it and then put it back. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so we close the puzzle box and we just put it back and when we give the fucking library guy the ticket and he goes all right you officially haven't rented the puzzle box anymore and we just went back to studying like like you know going back to the scene of the crime so and then we just left the library because part of us kind of wanted someone to find it while we were still there but nobody did because who the fuck does puzzle boxes in 2012 and then why is the year relevant for whatever. I mean, because, you know. That's fair. Who does puzzle boxes anymore? So we just Old left. People. So we just left. And then we forgot about that incident for like a year. And that's when there was another new kid. And this guy, we just didn't bother with the hazing because I don't think he was into the whole shitting in public thing. Yeah, um, really? What a so weirdo. instead, wow. we just what told f- him like, oh, well, you know, with Jack... We made him shit in a ton of places, and I basically gave him the same rundown that I gave you guys. Has Jack shat more times outside of a toilet or inside of a toilet? I mean, I assume collectively, now that he's an adult, probably inside a toilet. You don't know. Maybe, Eddie. Might maybe have a it taste goes for on. It. Yeah, maybe it goes on. Maybe he's still shitting in public spaces. I'd have to ask him, but he might be dead. Oh my God! What? <laughs> I kind of, I kind of assume that everyone in Ed's stories might be dead. Um, if I'm yeah, honest, we just. Uh, so I was giving okay. him that same rundown, and then I went, "Oh my god, we made him shit in a puzzle box." I forgot about that. And then the other guy that was there was like, "Oh yeah, we did make him shit in a puzzle box." And then the new kid asked, "Is it still there?" So we go, I don't know, bro. We should go check. How, wait, how, oh, how no. long has it? What, how long was about it? About a year. I want to say about oh, a year. My God. About a year. A month or a year two. is a pretty big difference for this. Or was it months? I don't know. This, the, 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 time gaps, the time gaps are very hazy. Like when it comes to high school at this point. Yeah, sure. I just remember the events. It's been a while. So, so he just goes... You know, is it still there? And then we go, I mean, we have no idea. We haven't fucking rented the puzzle box since. And then we have the brilliant idea of going to go check (laughs) if it was. Because you remembered which puzzle box it was. And let's be real, it was probably still in the same place. So we went to the library with a bunch of books. So we were like undercover studying. We put them on a table while the other guy, not the new kid, went to go find the puzzle box. So me and the new kid were setting up like our bags and shit. (laughs) And then the other guy comes back with the same puzzle box. So we're just like kind of crowded around it and we're sitting at a table that's pretty much out of view for fucking everybody. Like including the the guy that's just at the desk at the library. And then we're like, oh shit, moment of truth. So (laughs) the other guy slowly raises the box. And it's not there. It's been a while, dude. So it's just gone. And we're just looking at it. Yeah, but but how would... Maybe, well... Did somebody just, like, take it and clean it? Like, we were really confused, especially because it still smelled awful. (laughs) And that's when... Did it smell... Wait, did it smell awful before you opened... And that's when we saw it. Drop out of the top of the puzzle box. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> and just <laughs> so fucking bad. collide with the contents of the box while the other guy was holding the top. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, was there a splash zone? And we just started. I hope to god. <laughs> That's fucking awful. 
Holy shit. Where was Jack during that? Oh, he wasn't there. I don't think he was even at school. Oh, no, actually, I think he was because we didn't do this during lunch. It was during a, um, if one of our teachers didn't show up, we just have like a 45 minute break. Mm. Like if one of your teachers were absent. But yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much the story. This story isn't as funny when I can't do the visual of me holding the top of the puzzle box and then doing the motion of the giant chunk coming out of the top. <laughs> and then just splashing down on the for all we puzzle know, pieces. For all we know, it might still be there. For all we know, it I might mean, it, Yeah. It could yeah. be. Like, honestly. It was amazing. It was just... I'm going to go check to see if he's dead. If he's dead, you might have to censor his name. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, he's probably fine. I'm sure he's fine. Okay, I know he's alive. He's oh, been no. alive until the 2nd of February. I know for a fact, but who knows? He's he been a- alive until... <laughs> I mean, That's when knows? the pandemic started. Uh, oh, wh- wh- Why would you say that? What the fuck? That is true. Oh, God. Now I need to close out of Facebook. I, I scroll down for half a second. I see a girl eating crystals. What? what eating crystals? What? Yeah, no. I, 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 there's a couple people like from my healing? high school that fucking went off the deep end, dude. It's Like eating crystals? I, I've like heard of people who... I've healing? heard of like the, the people who put like crystals under moonlight and shit. Yeah. Is it like that, but then they eat them? Yeah, I didn't I mean, know about that part. She's like fucking... I don't want to reopen it. You know what? Nah, let's just move on. I, don't, go home. I, need to, fucking, I don't want to reopen I'm, my Facebook. I'm curious now. I need to moon bathe my amethyst. I'll be back. <laughs> my birthstone has to be bathed in moon. Yeah, that's what it's called. Moon bathing or lunar bathing. What does it do? I don't know. It, it energizes the rocks and then they do something. What's the point of doing that? Just, just use a J.O. crystal. Shut up. That's a J.O. crystal. You don't, you how don't do know you, what a you J.O. Don't know crystal? J.O. crystal is? Is oh that like from God. Steven Universe? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What would a J.O. J.O. crystal's <laughs> Steven Universe design look like? Like That would make the show a lot more interesting. Just a fucking Chad. So, they'll do the new uh, season when they're like, hey, our children's show isn't capturing the LGBT <laughs> audience like we hoped for. Can we have the J.O. crystals <laughs> and try to fix that? <laughs> I still don't know what they are. A J, okay. Give it a quick a, Google. A J-O crystal is like, it's like a crystal you wear on your neck when you jerk off with your bros and you power it up <laughs> with, by what? jerking off. Yeah. You, you, yeah, yeah. You, jer- you jerk off and the motion Honestly, of jerking off with your bros. how are you the one who doesn't know about this? How do you not That's know about it? It's not just how do you not guy. know. It's, it's not how do you not know. It's how are you the only one who doesn't. That's wait, fucked. No, wait. Are we? I'm still DMing it to you. Don't worry, it's coming. Why is it the same guy four times? Because <laughs> he's the jail guy. Oh, the council will judge along. you now. <laughs> <laughs> he's the jail crystal guy. <laughs> Jay. Jay. He's the guy. He wants you to charge up the jail with the crystal I wear around. around my neck. Contains an essence that gets recharged when <laughs> <laughs> when I jack it with a bro. <laughs> It gives yeah. me confidence at work. Home, social situations, etc. I have seen it glow white while jerking it with a bud. That's how I know it's real. <laughs> I yeah, went dude. down the rabbit hole on the J.O. crystal. J- oh, yeah. Fucking let's call and then up there's Frederick this one Nutson. Joseph Joestar. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's actually an Easter egg for the J.O. Crystal in the uh, in the Crudes movie. What? What are you talking about? I'm what? not gonna elaborate. I'm not gonna elaborate on you it. Guys know about Neon Cat? <sighs> Shut up. Wait, Neon Cat's an actual Ruby character? What the fuck? Yeah, Neon Cat. What? It's a real Ruby character. Oh my god! I what? forgot that was real. What? Yeah, oh, she gets that's she gets right. an updated what? design that's stolen from JoJo. It's cool. What? Yeah. She comes back like three seasons after she's oh, introduced. Is, is that is that the previous design then? That's the one that Manny posted? That's the previous design, yeah. Because that and looks then, like something else that they ripped off. That looks like the girl from Kill a Kill. Not the main one, but the one that... Oh, it does too. The You know the one who I'm talking about, the one with the eye patch. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Everything, everything in Ruby is stolen from somewhere. Unashamedly too, they go, it's a homage or it's a reference. It's like the Ouija way of thinking. David, let's talk about all your close relatives. Which one? <laughs> let's go, baby. I don't know. Do you have any divorced parents? Yes. Me too. Same. We went over that in an episode. So This episode is bad. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> this is not a good episode at yeah, all. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is really fun to do, but this is going to be unlistenable. This might be the worst episode. I mean, I've just, just been waiting for you guys to transition like... into something else. Am I the only person that came here with something to say? Yeah. I guess we'll have to talk about the Predator. I don't want to... Mm. Do we have, have to talk predator, about the David? Predator? Like a the movie game? I've seen three times now. Oh my god, the new one. Dude. Dude. Yeah, the Predator. On rewatch, that movie's actually excellent. Shut no, up. it's fucking not. Okay, I'm excited so for you to edit this and like just DM me on Telegram <laughs> at 3 a.m. Just like, I can't. We, this is not salvageable. <laughs> Dude, th I mean, this All feels PSC like fans go to twitter.com slash oh, then uh, post Big Chungus under each of his tweets. <laughs> Oh, that would be so wholesome, 100. <laughs> I, you know what, Mandy? If, God forbid, it ever no. happens that, um... <sighs> I'm literally only going to reply with Big Chungus. Yeah, just post Big Chungus. <laughs> Honestly, the only way to own anybody <laughs> online is to just post Big Chungus. You post Big Chungus or Fedora Shrek. No, That's it. I don't I, care as <laughs> And then I'll go on Cameo and I'll pay a celebrity to also say Big Chungus. <laughs> get Boogie oh, to do it. No, God. I'll get the guy that... Is, no, Boogie I'll, I'll doesn't get, have I'll a get fucking the guy that cameo. Plays, yes, he does. No, 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 no. Yeah, he what? does. Here's it's a what cameo. I'll, I'll pay the guy to play fucking Falcone in Dark Knight to say Big Chungus. <laughs> It's only 40 bucks. Boogie's cheaper than Bruce Green. Yeah. Just say, can you chant Big Chungus, get angry and more vigorous each time you say it? And then just send that to him. <laughs> just send him. No, no. I'm just going to send, send a request. Can you get Francis fatter? Voice. <laughs> <laughs> pay for his fucking, pay for the fucking cameo. Just say, can you get fatter? <laughs> so are we scrapping this because now we're on this. Can we get Elijah Wood to say Big Chungus? <laughs> it's probably a video of Elijah Wood saying no, Big Chungus. I don't want to get Elijah Wood to get to do Big Chungus. Elijah Wood is respectable. Let's get Taze on He's so nice. Say Look it. at his trailer. Look at his smile. He's so nice. That's true. Mandy. <laughs> Mandy. <laughs> Mandy, we're never going to escape it. We're never you going to, to escape the fucking Goose and Bo whiskey. You, you have to talk about it. Yeah. Why do I have to talk cult? about it? Wait, what? Because you you're the one who's like, "Oh, Kuzenbo." Why are we talking about Kuzenbo now? What is this? <laughs> it's a long <laughs> fucking story. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> do I need to? Do I talk about why you bought a bunch of expensive booze? I feel like that's you. You could talk about. Are you allowed to? Did you find booze that had Kuzenbo on it, and it's called Kuzenbo? No, it's, booze? A, it's, it's just it's just a thing. No, it doesn't. It just. It's, I don't think that part's important. It just we okay, got. Well, I was like, oh, we got whiskey and got whiskey. We went to the fucking. <clears throat> I didn't. I wasn't there. I didn't fucking pick the whiskey. So I'm tired of this being pinned on me. I didn't pick the fucking whiskey. I was not there. I was doing laundry. Mandy and Dimitri went to the fucking liquor store and bought a bunch of like nice looking booze bottles. And one of them was this fancy shit looking Japanese whiskey. And when I came over, <laughs> I don't even know if the first night the fucking Kusumbo whiskey is much of a story. Because basically what happened was. Well, that's when we learned about it. Yeah, that's when we found out about it. When we started calling it the Kusumbo whiskey. When you started calling it the Kusumbo whiskey. Everyone else fucking started too. I'm th I said it first. That doesn't mean I'm the only one who was calling it that. Mm, there it is. Anyways, continue. I've never denied that I said it first. <laughs> this has been an ongoing argument for four days. If you guys can't tell. Everyone pours themselves a glass of the fucking, the, this fancy Japanese whiskey. And we all take a sip and it tastes like lighter fluid. 
<laughs> There's no other way it to describe it. It immediately makes you want to vomit. It, 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 if you try and take a full gulp of this whiskey, your body will legitimately make you vomit to reject it. <laughs> and the only person who finished their glass was Dimitri because he wanted to make a point, I guess. <laughs> and it didn't... The thing about this whiskey is that it doesn't get you drunk necessarily it gets you wrong something is just wrong for the rest of the night if you drink any amount of this whiskey so after drinking the fucking whiskey what dimitri does is he goes like i can't sit at this table anymore i need to stand up and so he goes he just stands up and just kind of hovers next to the table for the next 30 fucking minutes just kind of swaying i, for, I forgot about this just like swaying back and forth not really contributing to the conversation much <laughs> like he'll chime in once every 15 minutes he's like oh yeah that was cool <laughs> and he and that, i was that's me when i'm drunk but really tired I, so i was the only one facing him uh Mandy and Red were both like backs to him for the most part. And I just kept on locking eyes with him and I couldn't figure out why it was making me so uneasy and like anxious the entire time he was there. And then after like 30 minutes, I realized that I felt like I was in a character select hovering him because <laughs> it looked like he was just doing a looping animation he's doing his idol animation he's doing a looping idol animation and every once in a while he points to a camera and he goes come on yeah and so he makes the comment about like that whiskey i don't feel drunk this is just bad i don't feel well <laughs> something's <laughs> wrong tonight <laughs> And I think that was when he mentioned something about it being like a Kappa, like the fucking Japanese turtle men. And I was like, what, you yeah. think the fucking whiskey has the spirit of Kuzumbo trapped in it? And that's that because he's the fucking king of the Kappa. Mm. <laughs> and that's just when we started calling it the fucking Kuzumbo whiskey. I don't know what else happened with the Kuzumbo whiskey on the first night because I don't fucking Nothing remember gorgeous. most of it. It was just, wow, that felt kind of sick. We shouldn't drink more of that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> because then we started watching the, the Bigfoot is an Alien documentary they had on Amazon. What? Oh, yeah. The one that, the one that you edited, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought I edited it. <laughs> there were, like, several moments that looked like things that I would edit as a joke. <laughs> it's a horrible night. Oh, that was also, that was also the night where, where we forced him to watch Rise of Skywalker. Oh, fuck. That was, yeah. That was that horrible. Was that night. Yeah. So, Dimitri is, like, a huge fucking Star Wars nerd lore guy, and he, <laughs> he got so fucked up in the first, like, 30 minutes of Rise of Skywalker that he couldn't fucking move anymore. <laughs> like, he, Whoa, would, he, was, he was stuck in the fucking chair, just yelling, why are there fucking <laughs> squid on a desert planet? <laughs> Doesn't make any fucking sense, JJ! <laughs> Oh, right. That was when the lamp happened. Yeah. Well, I think the lamp happened later than that. I think the lamp happened when he was at... Was that Pla oh, that's Plapatine. 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 when that... No, was it Plapatine or Pluton Vitor? <laughs> it was Plap... Pluton Vitor was before Plapatine. Okay. Because you, you said that that discussing Rick and Morty alien in a bar was a night of Ren. Yeah. Like, it's like, what Pluton the fuck Vitor? is that alien in the background? I was like, it's one of the nights of Because the entire time, every time he would ask like a hypothetical question where he just knew that the lore was wrong, I would make up an excuse about why it made sense. <laughs> and I don't know fucking anything about Star Wars. Oh, lore. that's like shit that my so dad it was, does. It was yeah. pissing him off so much. Who the That's fuck is that detour. alien in the background? Oh, it's the Knight of Red. No, it's not. No, it's not. It is. What's his name? It's Pluton Vitor. <laughs> <laughs> but the lamp came from a... The lamp. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Plapatine. So that was another moment where... <laughs> Who was it he was asking about? It, it was when General... Um, it was when Richard E. Grant was talking to Palpatine through the hologram. Right. And, and you didn't know who Richard Grant's character was. Yeah, he, he points he out. He, he, he goes, who the fuck, fuck is that? that? <laughs> Plapatine. No, not the hologram, the general. No, yeah, that's Plapatine. Yeah, that's Plapatine. That, the other one's Palpatine. I figure you already knew that. It's Plapatine. And then he threw a fucking lamp at me. 
what the fuck? <laughs> he was really <laughs> he got really mad about Palpatine. No, you don't understand what Dimitri was, is like with Star's War. He was screeching. He was. It was a terrible night. You had to hold him down a couple times. It was what? like it was like that scene from A Clockwork Orange, but instead of like close <laughs> to it's Wars. just it's just Kuzinbo whiskey. <laughs> You forced him to watch Star Wars, Jesus. Yeah. Well, the it's loudest fun. he screamed was when Palpatine goes, "Begun the ritual." <laughs> and then it plays went, the what ritual? <laughs> <laughs> what ritual? What <laughs> ritual? And then it plays the fucking Nile bass boost meme sound. <laughs> 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 what a terrible wow. movie! <laughs> Jesus, I can't believe I've seen it twice now. What a terrible time. Oh, and then the most recent incident with the Kuzinbo whiskey was four days ago when we were over again. And when things get re- now, it reached a point where that night Mandy just fucking took out the Kuzinbo whiskey and put it on the coffee table in front of everyone. And I asked, what are you doing that for? And he was like, it's just like a dare, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think anyone would do it until we yeah, started watching the Yeah, somehow, by the way, it's still my fault that the Kuzinbo whiskey stuff happens. It's still my fault when he's the one who takes it out and puts it on the table as a dare. It's not my fault I shot him. There was a gun right there. What do you mean? I didn't fucking make him do it. No, you were like, hey, I'll start chugging that. I said, I'll neck the, I'll, I'll neck the fucking bottle. If there, there are two things that could happen in the predator, where if you guess it, I will neck the fucking bottle. I didn't really tell close, him though. to like, do it. That is true. I did not fucking tell him to do it. To be fair, though, when he was, like, guessing, he got really fucking close in the first guess. Yeah, I was really scared. the second scared. one, he got even closer. I was really he, fucking scared. She was like, wait, are there predators? Are there predators taking autism from humans and trying to make humans more autistic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're like, <laughs> that was we're like no. That? Oh, by the way, there's a what? plot point in The Predator where the predators are trying to steal autism. And inject it. Yeah, that's a real thing. They're no. trying to. They're trying that's, to main. That's a real thing. They're trying to mainline some no. vaccines. And then, in, no, and then a more up. bigger, evil predator yes, it is. shows up and stops them. What? It, he tries to stop them from taking the autism. Because he wants the autism. No, he's that's the one. He's real. the one who wa- he wants the autism. Ed. But he doesn't want it for the good of humanity. He wants it to juice himself up and the, the load up pre- his door for Oh, yeah, game. that was the other one. No, the, the other, other one, one is the twist. to do it because global warming. The other one was the twist. No, because the first one, you're forgetting, Ed. The first one was a good guy who came to protect humanity, and that's why he was, Even kill- after that's why he was the killing lab. everyone. <laughs> that's why he was killing all the scientists on the way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah because he was, he was doing, there to help humanity. Global warming, right? No, no the, he's, he's here to help us. He's here to help us try and stop global warming. It was warming either global warming he, or Ayn Rand. One of them. Yeah, like, global warming. <laughs> shut up. Global warming. <laughs> global warming was big predator because he wanted the global warming to happen so that he could rule Earth oh, as a predator planet with his autism. It, and yeah, yeah. And then terraform it mm-hmm. with the autism. Gotcha. Right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, my God. It's real. Yeah. Do you, were you spending yeah. the entire time what? looking that up? Everything we just said yeah. is real about the Predator, by the way. And what's really because Dimitri actually nice. figured it out. <laughs> yeah. So about about predator, the pred. OK, so the Predators weaponize autism. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he figured it out when he saw a, a scene like a flashback or a hologram or something that showed Predators shoving a large like Looney Tunes syringe into Predator's face. And they went, wait, are they harvesting our autism to make themselves more autistic? Yeah, and then I had and to- And we just grab the I just had to neck the, the fucking bottle. Because I was like- Wait. I was so fucking upset. My wait, favorite so part of who the is, Predator is, predator? is when the main evil scientist laughs like this. <laughs> <laughs> is Fuck Predator- yeah. Is Predator giving himself- Yes. Yes. They're injecting autism. themselves with autism. They're trying yeah. to mainline trying to human steal autism it from the main character's son because the main character's son is autistic, and you know he's autistic because he can memorize chess. Do you think you shoot up autism or snort it? I think shoot up. <laughs> they shoot up in the movie, Avery. Oh, yeah, right. It's an edible. <laughs> it's an edible. edible. Autism is an edible. <laughs> what the fuck? You bake it into some brownies. Okay, so what? What do they gain from? They, they gain get autism. They get they get stronger they, they, and smarter. They literally, David. They, they get, get autism. They get That's what they get. They go super saiyan. <laughs> if they could, if they successfully steal the autism, they are now autistic. Need- that is the plot point. <laughs> you know what's more dangerous than a predator? <laughs> a predator who can't stand loud noises. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, 
Predator actually has what some pretty fuck? good jokes. Like most you, of I, them, most of, most them, are of them are funny. It's atrocious. just that half of them are delivered so poorly. Yeah, because the cast, and the direction, it's everything. Keegan Keegan Michael Key says is awful. Yeah, the one line that Ed and I both liked when we watched it was, "How tall is he? Like eleven feet? It's pretty fucking tall." Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> pretty fucking tall. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then I also really laughed at the no, yeah, but we all agreed Predator's cooler, right? Yeah, fuck yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Is okay. Is it so bad it's good? Is it no. worth watching? No, no, absolutely not. No. Watch, I oh, would say yes. Fuck. And then there's the Predogs. Oh, I love the Predogs. One of the Predogs gets shot yeah, in the head and then he becomes the a nice Predog. Gets, what is a Predog? It's a Predator like a pre dog. Predator it's a Predog. Dog. It's one that gets shot in the head and actually becomes oh, autistic. Oh my fucking God, dude. Yeah. That looks awful. Yeah, they have dreads. That looks, looks awesome. Look. <laughs> they have dreads. I wish they had big titties. You know, it's like how it's like how dogs on our planet have human ears. <laughs> it looks like it's basically a version of Iggy from part three. <laughs> Oh my god. It's just Iggy. <laughs> it's just their version of Iggy. That's all they had to go with. It was pictures of Iggy. <laughs> <laughs> and they saw the fucking human face and went, I guess we'll just give it a predator head. <laughs> oh my god. There's also a part where I kept telling Avery that Predog was the official film <laughs> version for it. And when he was arguing, telling me to look it up, I was already editing the Wikipedia article. <laughs> 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 there might see every look right here. They're per dogs. It reminds me I've been of calling the, them per dogs um, forever. I know, and I was like, Avery, that's the official term for them. No, they're not. <laughs> no, show the Wikipedia article. See per dog. Yeah, you guys want to just go into Patreon questions and do a bunch? I, I've actually come around on Patreon questions. I used to hate these, but now there's a chance I might get to make fun of people. Uh you're just saying that because of the bread. No, not saying you. I'm saying the people that ask the questions. Oh, okay. I'm going to do this one really quick because I'm offended by this comparison. Which is a worse... Uh, Van Derek asked, yeah, that, which I don't is a worse take? It, Avery on Celsius or David on bread? I've always said Celsius makes way more fucking sense than Fahrenheit. I don't My entire think that's point even is that fair. Fahrenheit is useful for outdoor temperature. And that's it. I think it's more useful for outside temperature. That's the entire fucking argument. I don't think yeah. that's even a fair that's even a fair comparison anyway. It's not, because your take on bread is stupid and I'm right. <sighs> oh, okay. Yellow Snub asks, you gain control of all media in the entire world for twenty four hours. What do you use it for? Okay, that one is good. Uh all media. <sighs> all media as so in I can control what is being broadcasted everywhere right now. Yes. Okay. Hmm. I would loop bird is the word. Wow. Why? You haven't seen that Family Guy clip where Peter sings bird is the word? <laughs> yeah. It'd be like that. I would loop the Family Guy chicken fight. <laughs> Which one? Oh, like, but, yeah, together, but I just siphon together. out the music and it's just the punch sounds. Yeah, and bird is the <laughs> word. Um, I broadcast the... Family Guy theme song, it, it starts at 0% volume, and then every time it restarts, it goes up 1%. No, 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 no. For I broadcast hours? the Family Guy opening for 24 hours. without Brian, with the other dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, their wait, gimmick that dog. that happened! Yeah. It was that gimmick. Oh, I would yeah. actually just loop Brian's death. Oh, there you go. Oh, my God, Brian, that's a out. good one. I just looped the Big Chungus song. Isn't there a big chunk of song? Yeah, I don't think there is there. I'm sure there, there are plenty. Be. There's a probably a Minecraft parody big chunk of song. I, I swear there's a, a big chunk of song. Minecraft parody song big chungus. Yeah, but instead of chungus, they say pickaxe or some other stupid hit or shit. miss Minecraft parody featuring big chungus. <laughs> that sounds really great. Big chungus. Well, no, there was a song. <laughs> There was a song. It was like big, big chungus, big chungus, yeah, big chungus. One. Yeah, that's the Reddit one. Yeah. What the fuck? That sounds like kids bop. It's actually pretty decent. <laughs> well, that's because that's because. Stick Larry asks, "You have given the power to control one person in the world and do as you wish. Who do you control, and what do you make them do?" I control, <laughs> and I make him do anything that has value. <laughs> 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 I think that's that question done. <laughs>
I control Biden and have him shit himself on white. That happens. (laughs) (laughs) Joe Biden may or may not have have shit himself on. Oh, he no, he he definitely shit himself. I saw that. I control. I'd control DSP and make him turn himself in and see if he even gets in trouble for it. (laughs) Oh my god! Oh, he'd get away with it. He'd get away with turning himself in. He Actually, DSP is a really good one because he could be like, I want DSP to travel to the Earth's core and tell us what it's like because nothing bad will happen to him when he's going through the lava. <laughs> Wait, am I a fucking Super Saiyan when I'm DSP? I'm saying like, <laughs> how am I getting to the Earth's core? He's like walks into a volcano. <laughs> In 24 like, hours. The what, what, what harm is going to come to DSP? <laughs> fucking none. He'll be fine. That's true. He gets That's in the tunnel. True. It's not even that hot. <laughs> <laughs> These rocks are supposed to be hard. Why are they liquid? Fucking bug rocks. Wow, <laughs> rocks liquid. <laughs> I I started dying laughing today because one of my friends sent me a song that is just Wings of Redemption and DSP auto tuned, but they call DSP Snort Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Snort Franklin. <laughs> Why does that sound like Franklin, an actual dude. artist's name? Yeah, that's what they were going for. Snort Franklin. I haven't. I'm I have no idea what I would do, man. So I need I can control somebody, right? Yeah, 24 and you can hours, make them yeah. do whatever you want. I can I control wait, so I can control anybody and make them do anything. I would control Namura. Oh, boy. The, cre- the right. creator of Kingdom Hearts. Okay. And I would just invent a bunch of fucking lore shit that's absolutely insane. It wouldn't stand like out. that. I, I w- honestly, I think I think I, I would just like I would just say like shit J.K. Rowling said, but in the Kingdom Hearts universe. <laughs> that's a really good one. Actually. <laughs> okay, that's actually really good. So like, so like, just go on Twitter. The fu- actually, Tigger the, the Darkness sent him along. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, back in the day, the key the Keyblade Masters would shit their pants and they would the poof it away with things? magic. <laughs> yeah. Literally the exact same things and see if anybody would pick it up. They would absolutely I mean, they would. What do you pro- mean would anyone Japanese pick it up? Fans, Japanese fans would not pick it up. They would just accept it, like, oh yeah, Goofy shits his pants. <laughs> Goofy shits his pants and then believes it away. I'm pretty sure Goofy shits his pants is actually the name of one of the cartoons. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do. I'd just invent shit. Did you know that J.K. Rowling's uh, magic school in Japan was literally her putting magic place into Google Translate? What? Yeah, I learned that the other day. That apparently when she had like her, her worldwide magic schools for the Harry Potter universe... For Japan, instead of asking a Japanese person a name, she put in magic place in a Google Translate and clicked that. And that sounds like J.K. Rowling. That's wow. how she wrote half the spells. Oh, are you? Wait, really? Yeah, half the spells are just th- what they do in other languages. Abracadabra, uh, Avada Kedavra. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's literally... No, it's like naming it's, people it's, in Star Wars. It's worse, I mean, it's worse than that. It's not just Abracadabra. It's Abracadaver. Yeah. But changed slightly. Because a cadaver Avada is Kedavra, a corpse. Yeah. Yeah. Avada Kedavra. It's Abracadaver. Yeah. Fuck Harry Potter sucks. <laughs> um, speaking of J.K. Rowling, remember I made when a Magic oh, Universe where every character has a gun? Remember, so you guys know like her new thing, the Ichabog. She's like doing a new thing. The, is that like the Babadook? What the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is? No, that's all the context you need. So somebody, some mom sent her fan art of fan art that her daughter did of the Ichabog and when JK Rowling quote tweeted it the first half of the quote tweet was like oh thanks for the fan art and then the second half was I found it saying that she hates trans people (laughs) (laughs) what (laughs) what oh yeah I did see that what the fuck there's the thumbnail David it's the Ichabog okay so I I know what you're talking about I saw that earlier today and then then she had to Quickly delete that and then repost in like this. I love this truly fabulous echo bog with its bat ears, mismatched eyes, and terrifying blood stained teeth. In court, Wolf claimed the Facebook post in which he'd said he wanted to fuck up some turfs was just bravado. Hashtag the echo bog. What the fuck? Yeah. 
<laughs> Weird, huh? She accidentally pasted Get that up. in before tweeting or something. Jesus like, Christ. Jakey <laughs> Rowling sucks so much, dude. She's used to copying and pasting before writing. Hey, JK. Hey, Joan. How come if you accidentally pasted it in, the end of the tweet is hashtag the Ichabog? <laughs> <laughs> Joan, <laughs> I got a problem with this story. <laughs> I just love the use of the flushed emoji. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Accidentally transphobic. Dang it, not again. Isn't that, didn't she do that more than once too? Fucking oh, hell, no, I dude, just saw what that is today. happening? trans people. No, but th this isn't the first time she's transphobic. Nor I'm will it be the last. Sure. Yeah. Jesus fucking Yeah, she's Christ, got three dude. bars of super built up. <laughs> she's gonna fucking unleash a hyper fucking... She's fucking gonna unleash a that. hyper combo, dude. It's gonna go fucking crazy. Oh my god, Joan is about to go max mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Alex Steer asks, if you lived inside a book, what genre would you want it to be? I want it to be in the Kingdom Hearts We Need That's the Pooh book. That's not a genre. <laughs> That's not a genre. Young children. It's the genre. <laughs> Young children. I'd want to live in the Ichabog and beat up a trans person. <laughs> what the fuck? You can't say shit like that. Wait, is the Ichabog a, a place or a thing? It's a character. What the f- From what? Are you thinking like Ichabog Harry Potter? Is the Ichabog a thing? Yes. Oh, it <clears throat> is. What? That's J.K. What? Rowling wrote that? I went over this. Where have you been this entire episode, David? Are I don't you know, awake? man. I don't know anything. I, I feel so fucking dead right now. Dude. Does the Ichabog also have weird pro-slavery stuff in it? Maybe. <laughs> oh, right. Harry Potter was in the staircase. Oh, no. Ed, that's, not, Ed, that's not even what I'm talking about. The fucking pro-slavery stuff in Harry Potter is way more fucked than that. Oh, yeah, because There's Hermione's like, we should free the elves. Yeah. And they're like, ha ha, Hermione's what do you mean? Like, we should... <laughs> We should free the subservient race that we are subjecting to do our bidding and work for no pay, and we can't, we won't even give them clothes. And everyone is like, shut the fuck up, Hermione, you idiot. They love it. Oh. The movie also frames it as she's being annoying, too. Yeah, it, 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 the book frames it like she's being ridiculous. Oh. You're being preposterous, wanting g g goblin rights? What are they, no, the, no, the goblin servants, goblins. I must house correct elves? you. The, I must correct you. The goblins run the banks. Oh, perfect. Cell asks, oh, yeah. which podcast yeah. member is most likely to fuck another podcast member? Guests included. Not doing that. <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> why not? Why are we not Ed. doing that? Okay, Ed's fine. A slut. It's funny. Who who is Ed fucking? What? Why including me? guests? Oh, you asked who, the question, Ed. Oh, so that's what we're doing now. Okay. Ed, Listen, you're, you're a slut. Voted. You're a slut. And you would fuck. Wait, with guests? Yes, guests included. Yeah, and guests. Harry? That no. would be a fucking clashing of worlds. No. Yeah, that's no. why Wait, my mind hey, is Welcome to the Time marketplace out. of ideas. What the fuck? Wait. You gotta be shitting me. I just what? realized look who's in guests. One of these things is not like the other. Look under Joseph Anderson, Who, specifically. Who's that? That is fucking what? Who I hate. How is he here? Who is <laughs> Who, what? What? I'm banning him. Who the fuck Why? is this? How long has he been in here? Ban reason? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> what? What is I'm happening sorry, this my episode? Brain... May someone tried to invite him to like the podcast server and they went, oh, I'll invite him to the the internal server. All right. Um, but who am I fucking? I'm fucking Cameron as a favor. Hey, the podcast wouldn't be possible without the help from our patrons, such as Afari Noxa, Agraba Winslow, Alan Diver, Alex Steer, Buckshot Papaya, Dax Ritchie, Desric Gothroy, Devin the Sauce. Dreams of Ice, Ducky Madness, The Scala, Eric Scott Gillies, Jeff Smith, Manuel Martinez, Marco Sotelo, Rad Jackal, Ryson, Looking Fresh Though, Ryan Rankin, C Young, Sky, Spooky Ghost, Teague, Travis Vapes, Tyler Collins, Unarmed Toaster, and William Oliver. Thank you so much for the support and we'll see you next time.